coming on guys, it's Jeff. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update um, on a future project here this spring. This, I'm for sure this time, is a Seiju Chinese Elm. It says on the tag. I got it from a local nursery here about a month ago. Uh, I'll bring you in close here in a minute, but just want to give you the kind of the scale here. It's nothing compared to the, the last Elm you guys have seen, but um, I think it's got potential. It might turn out to be two trees here. Uh, I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on what we should do. Pull the camera out of the stand here. Come over here. So as you can see here, it's got a nice kind of thick corky base but as we come up the trunk move some of this out of the way here we've got the spot where we got some really bad inverse taper just kind of a knob where there's oh I don't know half a dozen branches coming out so what I was thinking Maybe do an air layer, maybe take a couple of these lower branches off, try to put them in as cuttings, and then do an air layer here, make it into like a clump style tree. As you can see, these leaves are just absolutely tiny. Just teeny tiny. Um, yeah, throughout. I don't know how long this was in this nursery container, but I think it's a pretty cool tree. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with this bottom part if if I do decide on doing the air layer. It's nothing really special. I guess I got this branch here. I could turn into a leader, maybe plant it in the ground for a couple years, help that thicken up and get it a little closer to these little tiny branches here get a little closer to this diameter it might take two or three years but I don't know yeah compared to that guy she's pretty little and then another quick update on the cuttings I did um, I've got some heat under the underneath this tray here but um, yeah, there's a couple, well, mainly this one and then that one's starting, but I think all these have potential. Um, yeah, these were just little fine cuttings I did off of that big elm. Um, these ones have started leafing out. I know it's not to say that there's root activity going on, but I'm fairly confident few of these should should make it and then I can transplant them into smaller pots or stick them in the ground this fall but um, just look at the size of those tiny little leaves pretty cool um, here's some of the thicker ones I did no activity yet um, but so I've noticed some of the Back there, I don't know if you can see it, but some of the uh, stems or branches where the internodes are, they're starting to kind of get a little bit of a greenish brown color to them, which means they're starting to uh, starting to get some sap flow there. So let's put this guy back on here. Careful. Careful. Okay. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this one. If I should maybe attempt to do that earlier. I'd like to get this into some bonsai soil. Um, kind of my mix is turfus, diatomaceous earth, and pine bark. Um, yeah, so I'd like to get this whole thing into that 
before I attempt anything. So maybe just do a, a, a little bit of thinning on this this year after a repot. Take some cuttings, see if they shoot off. But alrighty. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.